Coming up next on the forum, I'll be speaking with Nita Kellogg, Executive Director of Project Diva. That's coming up next on the forum. Hello, I'm Sani, and you're watching SPNN's Forum. Today I have sitting with me a very, very powerful and special lady that I know in the Twin Cities. Her name is Nita Kellogg. She's the Executive Director of Project Diva. Welcome, Miss Nita Kellogg. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> I All right. appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> We've been kind of laughing off camera, so, yeah. so I hope that shows up. I hope that shows up. But I'm going to jump right into it. Okay. Let's um, go. So what was the inspiration behind Project Diva? How did all of this start? Well, all of Project Diva started um, because um, I am a daughter of a mother who has catatonic schizophrenia, and it happened. Uh, her nervous breakdown happened when I was around 12 years old. Okay. Um, my 12, my 12 year old year, I actually went to three seventh grade schools, okay. um, one in Minneapolis and then two in Omaha, Nebraska, where I'm from, because my mom transitioned us back to my dad as she was going through her illness or mm -hmm. going through her mental breakdown. Mm -hmm. And so um, Project Diva came out of me as an adult realizing how many girls like actually go through the same thing that I that I felt okay. growing up. I was still expected to um, be uh, perform at school. Mm -hmm. I was still expected to behave as a child. Mm -hmm. Like nothing ever happened mm -hmm. in regards to my mom not being in my life after so long. Mm -hmm. um, so from my through my middle grades, my middle school years and my high school years, I didn't know if my mom was alive, if she was dead. No one ever said that she was dead, but it was just like not knowing. So and you were separated from her while all this was happening. Right. Oh. Okay. My father raised us um, from the time I was 12 till I graduated at 18. Okay. And so as an adult, I just wanted to be able to give girls a space where they could be asked like you know how are you doing mm -hmm. how are you doing with everything that's going on at home at school in the community you know right now we're going through a lot of the black lives black lives matter mm -hmm. and so our this is our kids time for civil rights and things like that mm -hmm. and nobody's take, taking the time to even ask them like how do they feel exactly. you know so you know just wanted to give kids a space girls primarily okay. uh, to be able to just reflect mm -hmm. and self-discover okay. so that's why That's where it created. started. Okay, yeah. cool. Wow. Okay, so what age groups do you serve? Who are you working with? Well, we work with sixth graders through twelfth graders. Okay. Um, we do have some strong fifth graders in there, and we have a <laughs> small group of diva dolls. We do thirty girls a year. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually at thirty-five this year, mm -hmm. and then about ten, eleven um, diva dolls. Okay. And that's first grade through fifth grade. Okay. And primarily, it's because we want to be able to prime them for, for prime them for getting ready for college or whatever's going to happen after high school. Okay. You know, a lot of a lot of kids are not ready for for college mm -hmm. or are not um, acknowledgeable about how to get in. You know, you, you go through that phase where, well, I got into Spelman or I got into Harvard or I got into, you know, the U of Minnesota, but okay, now how are you going to pay for it? Right. So really priming them to understand the Western culture and, what, and how we live or the area that we live in mm -hmm. and then how they fit into mm -hmm. this world is mm -hmm. what we really do with our 6th through 12th graders. Okay, so what? So how, how are you priming them? Is there um, certain programs that you're doing? Well, how, what, what's in the ingredients? <laughs> <laughs> well, the recipe <laughs> is we have coaches in six different areas. So academic, social, emotional, financial, health and wellness, and careers. Okay. We lead with the career piece because we know that when you don't have, when you can work doing what you love, it's never working, right? right? You don't right. work a day in your life. And so the girls come in primarily telling us who they want to become. Mm -hmm. And then we find a career coach specific to that industry to coach them for that to those 10 months. Okay. And then the group coaching is around the other one. So every Saturday is geared towards a certain coach. Okay. It's um, academic is the third, is, I'm sorry, Fitness is the first Saturday. Okay. Um, Black Women in History is the second Saturday. Okay. The third Saturday is academics. The fourth is sexual health and um, image. Okay. And then we also have a nutritionist coach that helps us with our healthy eating. Okay. So it's all about coaching the girls in certain areas so that they can have time to self-discover for one year, setting goals for one year, mm -hmm. to, to get them one year closer to what it's going to look like after high school. Okay. So each each of those Saturdays, you focus specifically on academics. You spoke, focus right. specifically on nutrition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I wanted to clarify that. Yes. Up. Thank you. So here's the difficult question. What is okay. So we have all these shows, Love and Hip Hop, mm -hmm. um, Bad Girls Club, I heard somebody say, I heard um, some prominent black leader, I don't remember, it was on in the background, but he mm -hmm. said, we are literally 
competing for our children's attention. Mm -hmm. And so we know, I know you have to know that these young girls are having access to these shows because mm -hmm. their parents are watching them, their aunts and the people around them are right. watching them. So how do you create curriculum that competes with it? I, I believe that because our curriculum is in real time mm -hmm. and it's real talk okay. that the girls are engaged because it is something different. It's something that hits their spirit mm -hmm. way different than the reality shows. Okay. It's something that the curriculum that we create is curriculum that really affects their tomorrow. Okay, okay so today you said you wanted to be an attorney. Mm -hmm. Okay, first of all, what type of attorney? TVs are not going to ask you what type of attorney right. you want to be. There's a zillion type of attorneys you want to be. So now let's let's self-discover to see where your gifts and talents are in that area. Mm -hmm. And when you make it personal like that, mm -hmm. then it, it really it sparks something inside of them. Mm -hmm. And then now we can say, okay, so in order to get there, this is what you're going to have to do in English. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to have to do in math. Because now we're relating it to their everyday lives. They're at school eight hours out of the day primarily. Mm -hmm all year long and so now we can say okay if you do these things then that can get you to this space and then we put women that look like them in front of them mm -hmm. or if they don't look like them who are strong women that can show them and connect them connect those dots for them mm -hmm. it, it competes it, there is no competition okay okay <laughs> I was gonna say have, how so no so going off of that how do you know you've been successful how do we know we've been successful <laughs> we've never had a girl repeat a grade okay and we've been around since 2008. I founded it in February of 2008, so we've never had a girl repeat a grade. We, all of our graduates, or any girl who's gone through the program has graduated. Okay. We've only had one girl who has become pregnant in school, and that was, I think, our second year. Mm -hmm. And actually, her daughter is in first grade this year. Okay. Um, in line, she's like six months ahead of her schedule in regards oh, wow. to reading and math. Okay. Her mother's about, her. she's in her third year of college. Mm -hmm. You know, so, so, so the skills it, are still there. Exactly. It's, it's in there, and you can see exactly. that what you've been planting in the girls is growing. Exactly. Okay. And, and all of our graduates are functioning adults. Mm -hmm. Nobody's left behind. And they know that they can still call on us. I was going to say, what is, what is your um, means of keeping contact with these young girls? We have an alumni group. Okay. that um, actually we just brought back together because you know between 18 and about 22 mm -hmm. they have to figure out life yeah they have to figure out because <laughs> that's, that's when rough, you start losing your friends period. right yeah. you yeah. start losing your friends trying Rent. trying to figure out where you sleep and Tuition. how you eating <laughs> exactly right, right and so right about now is when we're starting to get them back they're all starting not all but a lot of them are starting to have to create their families mm -hmm. you know they've been out of school for about three four years now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they're starting to um, decide like okay I thought I was gonna be this, mm -hmm. but now it looks like I'm turning out Something to be changed, this. Right? So now it's, we're asking, okay, what are your needs at this point? So we have an alumni group that is amazing as well. So you still help and you still are still connections. Okay. Yeah, this is a life program, That's a awesome. lifetime program. That's awesome, yeah. I like that. So um, last year, I was made aware of your end of the year fashion show, mm -hmm. and I was very shocked about it. I attended it. I was, re <laughs> I was really shocked at the turnout. I mean, the community really came out for that. So what's that about? What's the fashion so, show about? Our style show, we've changed it from a fashion to a style. style show. Diva talk. <laughs> and we, we switched, we actually started off as a fashion show because okay. it was about making sure that the girls felt good about themselves. Like we gave them everything they needed for the inside and then mm -hmm. it was like, okay, let's glow on the outside as well, showing okay. the confidence from the inside. Okay. And so we switched it to a style show because we really wanted to focus more on the intellectual parts of our girls okay. or intellectual, intellectual sides of our girls. And so the style show is each girl presenting what their career life was like with their career coach okay. and sharing what they got out of that for the year. And it's so amazing because our girls are not just lawyers and doctors. Like last year we had a young lady who wants to be a um, stylist for, um, she wants to create clothing for dogs. Mm -hmm. I remember. And so, <laughs> that was <you> know, dope. <laughs> being able to see her over the year actually create a piece that mm -hmm. a, a pet can wear mm -hmm. is super amazing. And she was only in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. So to be able to know that, okay, in the fifth grade, this is what she felt. This year, I believe she's um, transitioning into adult clothes mm -hmm. instead of that. But it's her learning. Like last year, she learned that, okay, pets was what she thought she wanted. Mm -hmm. But she knows she wants to stay in that industry. But now she wants to transition into something different. So imagine by the time she gets to about 10th grade, she really is going to know what she wants to do and now we can look for scholarships that focus just on that right. and we know why she's going to college and we know she won't have a car note coming out of college right. because she's kind of confused on what, what she she's going to do, do. In the first place. exactly so so you so it's okay that these girls are taste testing their careers exactly that's, that's cool. the whole goal that's so that by the time they hit 10th grade and we really start focusing on how are you going to pay for this next level that you're going to go into right. after high school they know what, what it's going to be. Okay. And we can really get, the goal is, or the what we really want to try to do is as the, these girls transition, this group, last year's group, mm -hmm. um, because the, we've been kind of just molding the recipe, mm -hmm. um, is make sure that 
whatever their next level is, they know exactly how they're going to pay for it. Okay. We know it's going to have to be some type of higher education. Mm -hmm. Even if that means interning in a position where you're starting in entry level, but you're, you've interned for two years so they know your work, they know your hands-on experience. Right. So now you're not going in at entry level, um, entry level um, earnings, mm -hmm. but you're actually going to make a couple extra dollars more right. because of your experience with them. So, so we want to just set them up for that. My grandmother always told me that what we should be doing is making sure that our kids the day after high school can make a living for themselves. Mm. And so that's our goal is to make sure that they are able to understand which direction they're going to go mm -hmm. to be able to make the living for themselves, whether that's college, Ooh. vocation, or going straight into the workforce. Okay. Wow. Okay. Ms. Nita? Just blew me away. <laughs> so do you have any um, plans for expansion? Yes. Is this something that's just going to be local, or are you thinking Beyonce status worldwide and Germany you project? Know, we have <laughs> to go global. The vision is global. Okay. And it's, it's because I, I believe that every girl should experience being able to take care of their household. We are nurturers, and so it's, it's going to take for us to nurture ourselves, our families, and then our communities. And so if we have some strong women taking the reins once it's time for us to sit, to sit down mm -hmm. all over the world, mm -hmm. then I, I believe that the world will be in a better place. I like that. I like that. I think as adults, we think, or just as us becoming who we are as adults, mm -hmm. we forget we got to pass the knowledge on to the we kids so that to. when we sit down, we can sit down and put our feet up a little bit, a little <laughs> exactly. bit, so that they can step up and do what exactly. they saw us doing. The world has always been changed by the young feet. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Okay, so people who are interested in becoming a part of Project Diva in all elements, um, supporting Project Diva mm -hmm. by volunteering, um, becoming a, a diva consultant, a diva yes, coach. A diva you consultant. said diva coach. We have coaches, um, we have diva consultants, donors, funders. Okay. Um, everything can go through projectdiva.org. Okay or they can reach me at 763-280-DIVA. Okay, that's nice, nice and easy. <laughs> any events, any new events coming up? Um, our next <laughs> event, we just had a comedy show. Um, so we have, right now we have two annual events. We have a back to school comedy show that we just um, presented mm -hmm. um, to the community, which was so fun. And then our end of year, April, it's always the third Saturday in April, so April 16th. Um, is our next annual show. Okay. The um, style show, right? The style show. Okay. Yes. You already got the date locked in? April 16th. <laughs> Man, <laughs> 2016. Okay. okay. Any last things you want to say about Project Diva to, to, to some young girl who's watching it and is like, I want to be a part? <laughs> <laughs> yes. We start enrollment in December, okay. um, open enrollment in December, and we end um, around the end around the style show, around okay. April, um, the third week of April. And so if you're interested, please give us a call, or, um, and that's 763-280-DIVA, okay. or the website, there's a um, icon where you can um, ask for an application. Okay. Um, that's, it's the same for volunteers as well. We definitely need, we need about seven more women okay. um, to help out with this year um, in regards to hands-on on the Saturdays. Okay. And um, we always need um, back office assistance, of course. We are a volunteer-ran organization. Okay. And um, donors and funders, if you love girls and you want to see them grow, we're the organization to give to. Okay. And I want to know, I mean, I want to say this, is it a first come, first, cur first serve kind it of thing? It is. We take okay. 30 girls a year. Okay. So, um, so if you want your daughter that. to be in it, we have girls that return. And so all the spots that are left open from the girls who are not returning are open for new girls to come on in. Okay. Cool beans. Yeah. Well, and we're positioning ourselves to open up our second chapter next year. So okay. we may have another 30 slots open. Nice. Um, if we meet budget. So we need all these funders and donors <laughs> and to come through. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Um, well, thank you for coming out. I'm really I'm, I'm excited about this year because my baby is in front Yes, of she is. <laughs> our, little, our little librarian. Our little li or slash, <laughs> slash, slash video me. game <laughs> creator. <laughs> yeah, so, um, well, thank she's you so much. for she is, She's taste testing. She's taste her career. That's right. Well, thank you again for coming out, Mr. Actually, thank you for having us come out here. So, um, And I'm, I'm really excited to see the global expansion yes. of Project. Thank Eagle. you. Thank you. Cool. My name is Sonny. You've been watching SPNN's Forum. You've been watching SPNN's Forum. I'm your host, Sonny, and I am lucky enough to have one of the Project Diva uh, participants sitting here with me today, and I'm going to go ahead and let you introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Oh. Um, <laughs> Say your name and, and, oh. your, and, your, and, your, and your grade in school. And My name is Chantelle. Um, I'm in 11th grade, and I go to Osseo Senior High. Okay, cool. Great. So uh, is, what, what year is this for you in Project Diva? My third year. Your third year? Yeah. Okay. So what brings you back each year? Um, the love. That's the big part, the love. And then being here, I get to figure myself out as a young lady and transition to like 
high school and college, like mm -hmm. I get to figure out what I want to do mm -hmm. instead of getting there and then be all distraught because I don't know. So, nice, yeah. nice. So I, I was told by Ms. Nita that each year, like you just said, you guys get to work with a, a diva coach, mm -hmm. um, a career coach. Um, what did you do last year? And is it the same this year or is it different? It's different. Okay. <laughs> last so what did you do last year? I did hip hop. Okay. And the year before that, I was a criminal attorney. I studied law. Okay. And this year, I'm going back to law. Oh, okay, you're going back to law. Yeah. Okay, so what made you what made you go to hip hop? I'm more interested in that. <laughs> because like I just like music and like as a young girl I like to I like to dance when I was younger, mm -hmm. but I kinda grew out of that. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to explore it again to see mm -hmm. if that's what I wanted to do. You could be a dancing lawyer. <laughs> you could be, totally. <laughs> so what what is the one thing you're looking forward to this year for the program? Um I'm looking at everything. Um, but the one thing, maybe, would be the uh, the women says the session, the Saturdays where we like go into history, like African American history. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll be looking for. Okay. Yeah. So what? Uh, last question. Uh -huh. um, out of the four Saturdays, uh -huh. which one's your favorite? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or do you like all of them? I like all of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Chantelle, for coming out, and I keep saying coming out, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm on y'all territory. <laughs> well, for real, thank you because I know you guys are doing the retreat in there. But mm -hmm. thank you for coming out and and sharing your experience with Project Diva, and, and good luck this year. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>